Just so you know, I'm not Patrick reading you. That was embedded, big time. Hey everybody, welcome back to Golf Test Dummy, the channel where I use my game to help your game. Hopefully, I'm going to do a course vlog today. This is going to be nine holes, and I've never done this before, but I'm going to show you every single shot. Now, the reason I don't do this is because Shot Tracer is like notoriously a pain in the ass and inaccurate. I'm going to show you this first tee shot here, and you'll just have to check this out uh, for yourself, and it kind of gives you a prime example of just what can happen with the Shot Tracer app. And I'll, I'll put up a freeze frame here for you and check this out. Look at that. I'm freezing it right there. The ball started behind my feet. Now, where this ball actually finished up is pretty close to where the tracer ends, but that shot shape and that line, that is nowhere near where it started. It was actually kind of a low hook, and it ended up in the left rough over here, which this, I don't even know if you can classify this as rough. This stuff is like tree roots and acorns and just garbage. Uh, the course is extremely wet and muddy, as you'll see throughout the day. Uh, hit a good second shot back there with a six iron, and the pitching wedge here just kind of hangs out a little bit right on me, but to be honest, I wanted to avoid the bunker on the left, so this was the safe play. Another thing about this course that you'll notice today is that the greens look like something out of a horror film. I mean, these, these greens are terrible. They have little mud balls all over them, they are super soaked and soggy as hell. Uh, just definitely, again, not ideal. Uh, Made my par there on the first par five. This is a par three, about 170. I hit a pretty good shot here. Just left it a little bit short. And show you some B-roll footage of just how terrible it is here. Just check this out. Uh, worst pitch shot in the history of mankind right here. It just came off terrible. Went way past, stayed out right. And now I've got this downhill putt that, uh, honestly, this might be the best looking green on the entire course. <laughs> and naturally, you know, I can't, I can't save a par from 20 feet, but uh, tap in there for a nice bogey. This par four is really tight, and the, the fairway here, I can't, I can't even explain it, how wet it is. Uh, but it's a short par four. Being that it's really tight, it's also short. So I'm able to hit a five iron off the tee here. Uh, that shot tracer actually shows it going more down the middle of the fairway, but it took a little bit of a, a hop over to the left, and I'm near the cart path. This was a really good utility wedge, which is normally about a 115 to 120 club for me, and I think I'm about 105 out here. I want to stop here and show you guys this. Um, I'm a little bit deep past this flag toward the middle of the green, and the reason is you can see this dark area over in here. That is sodden false front. You land in that, it's embedding or it's rolling back. You got zero shot, no green left to work with. This bunker over here that is swamped with water, didn't want any part of that. So I threw this one a little long on purpose, just wanted to give you this, this angle into the green. I got my birdie putt coming. Now it seems a little bit ridiculous for me to even be fixing a pitch mark here, but you know, force a habit. So I'm going through the motions. This is a little bit of a downhill putt. And really, I, I just respected this way too much with the uh, mud balls and how wet it was. It, it's just super slow. But, you know, inside of about four feet, I'm normally pretty money from that spot. So I was able to tap in and save my par. Uh, driver off this tee right here. Let me explain. This, this shot tracer is fairly representative, but this was well short of my normal and not a good strike. As was that shot. <laughs> I mean, a cold top. A cold top that just could not be any worse. Uh, so I trudged through the mud here, and I believe I've got like a pitching wedge left into this green. Just hit a pretty good shot and overcook it. You can see I'm telling it to get down, but it was it was tracking the flag the whole way. It just ended up off the back of the green and then kind of rolled down this little embankment. Uh, Texas wedge was definitely in play today, as I just did not even want to take a chance of chunking a pitch shot. And uh, I leave this one well short. Once again, able to uh, clean up my mess and uh, save my bogey there. But, you know, the putting today was was not very good. Um, another short par four. It's kind of tight. It does have a choke point down there. So I just hit five iron off the tee and left it a little right. The ball embedded here like I showed you in the beginning of the video. So I took a drop from the knees back from where it was in that mud pit and just punched out to the middle here. 
And this, this shot right here is just, this is a prime example of what not to do. I didn't have this shot in the bag. It was a low punchy shot with a 50 degree wedge. And I, I don't practice that shot. I, I don't have that shot in my bag and I tried to pull it off. Why? I have no idea. So I'm left trying to chip back up. I run it way past the hole. And again, another uphill putt that I just leave woefully short, never online. Uh, but once again, able to come in and clean up my mess with a quick little tap in. And again, inside of three or four feet, uh, I don't miss that often. Now this is a uh, downhill par three. Uh, I may have an eight or nine iron here. I'm not exactly sure, but it was tracking the whole way. Just coming right in, lands right behind the pin. Yeah, I'm excited. A little fist pump. This might actually be my second birdie putt of the day. Uh, I've got a good chance here. I'm about 15 feet away, I believe. And uh, just never had it online, never gave it enough. And at the end there, I don't know if you saw that or not, but it moved over about two inches because it hit one of the weeds. These guys teeing off on the hole beside of me, yell four, and I hear it land about five feet away. <laughs> uh, five iron off the tee here, uh, shortish par four, a little tight, trying to play a fade, end up drawing it over into some sort of a uh, post-apocalyptic uh, nether region here. This looks like something out of a Hollywood movie where you don't want to be and some orcs are going to come out and attack you and uh, steal your soul. Put that seven iron perfectly. It was a low punchy seven. Just had too much stank on it. I am right up against the OB barrier. So I was just about taking a drop. I got super lucky that it is as nasty as it is out here. I mean, I can't even explain to you guys how insane the conditions are out here. It is so wet and muddy. This course should be closed today. We've had so much rain, but the course itself, it's in such dire straits that if they don't open and they don't try to get as much golf from the golfers as they can, they won't survive. They'll have to close down. And this course has been around for a long time. So I'm trying to support, you know, some of the, uh, some of the little guys out here, but this course, it should be closed today. Now I'm back behind the green here because I overcooked this seven iron and back behind the ball is some tall grass and some sticks from some spindly little trees and stuff like that. Uh, I really don't have much of a chance of pulling off a great shot here and I leave it pretty, pretty short. It's not my best effort if I'm honest. And now I've got this lengthy downhill putt. I don't know if you can see these or not, but these little dark spots all over the green, those are little balls of mud everywhere and they, they're covering every green on the course. I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's these mud lumps all over this green. And every time it hits one, it just knocks it and stops it and drives it offline. Putting today by far was the biggest challenge. I mean, this, this just never had a chance. It was never online. And uh, clean up here for uh, double bogey. Sort of spin you around here. Look at the, the stumps. I don't even know if you can tell, but the mud, the stumps, everything is just incredibly miserable out here. Now you can see how soaking wet it is here, and this is normally a par four, but they've actually moved the tees up to make a par three and uh, just try and take the, the whole soggy fairway out of it. This was an awful shot. The shot tracer actually makes it look better than it actually is. It was low, it was hooky, it was not very good, and uh, I'm left with this pitch shot kind of over, I guess what you would refer to as a bunker off to the left, and it just takes off and shoots to the right. So I've got this putt now to try and make a par. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the story of the day. If today was a putt, it would be that. That's exactly <laughs> representative of, of how the day went. Now this, again, the, the shot tracer here shows a low hook, and it was that way. I mean, it was thin, it was low, it had no chance of running anywhere. It's just a terrible drive. One of my worst of the day. Uh, pretty solid six iron here. Pulled it a little bit left of where I wanted it to be, but I ended up in a decent spot. Hit a pitching wedge, and I don't know why I'm so disappointed in this. This shot tracer and everything, look look how close this is. Why did I walk away? I think I felt like I blasted it over the green, but I really didn't. I mean, it was the perfect distance. And Drano, Drano for birdie. So happy to get that birdie. First one on the front nine, very happy with that. 
Okay guys, that's the end of the front nine. Now this is actually a par 35 because they turned that par four into a par three. Uh, so I'm gonna go through and add up my scores. I shot a 41. Man, 41 on a par 35, that's six over. That's not that great. Had a couple of doubles in there. Uh, so let's see, I hit one, two, three, three of six fairways, so half my fairways. A lot of those, I think I only hit three drivers on that front side. One, two, three. I only hit three of nine greens. Man, that's probably the cause of uh, my issues right there. And I had 16 putts. Um, that's probably a little bit above average for me. I had one three putt. So all in all, it could have been worse. The conditions out here are miserable. But that is the front nine. We're going to go into the back nine. I'll do that as a separate course vlog, so be on the lookout for that. Let's get going.